Spike boots, your basic boot, your basic type of brutality run. And that's fine by me. I mean, if anything, these are one of my favorite boot type weapons in the game, of which somehow there are three of them, because they're just simple and they do good damage. And hey, this one gives poison as well. It's just like, it, it's already starting out great. So there's not really gonna be too much to talk about or any sort of like special build to create, but hey, at least it does have a new type of animation where you do a little bit of an ax kick and just overall buffed damage from what it used to be, from what I understand. I'm gonna be honest, it's a little while, it's been a little while since I've really tried to use this weapon because, you know, to be honest, as nice and fun as the critical is, it's not really anything very special and you can get like some better usage out of other weapons. But hey, for what it is, it's pretty good. And hey, I mean, if nothing else, it makes for a pretty good um, stream type of weapon when I can just concentrate entirely on the absurd amount of uh, absurd amount of subscriptions that have been coming in right now. But thank you, by the way, everybody. Hope you enjoy the smelly boot run, because that's that's the theme of today, I suppose. Uh, any suggestions of like good routes to go through? I think that these uh, these boots would actually work with pretty much anything, even up to going against like the Conjunctivius, just because they're so fast. And even though I'm gonna have to get pretty close, it's like the damage is pretty great. I mean, even just the stuff like being able to breach enemies because uh, out of their attack animations, just because of the critical, is is a huge plus in favor of the the, the boots just by themselves. Probably gonna take that powerful grenade. <laughs> That's always a pretty good choice when it comes to uh, brutality, survival, anything that you can get it for. And aside from that, uh, yeah, as many stats as possible and we're looking at a good run. Can you beat this first level only walking? Yeah, that was something we found out uh, right at the start of the stream here. Apparently there is a walking animation in Dead Cells. Like, look at it go. Who knew, you just hold upwards Move very slightly. <laughs> when does this ever come up? How long has that even been in the game? Who can tell? It's but apparently it's it's news to me. <laughs> oh man. Also, thank you, Blue Firewolf. And also, uh, thank. I got a new emote from that. Weird. That, that, that's not, not even due to anybody's uh, specific uh, subscription. That's just a thing that apparently happened. We gotta actually get some emotes on this channel at some point in time. <laughs> yeah, let's get TV Taco Bag 2, the sequel to TV Taco Bag. I'm sure that the Pepsi Corporation will not have anything to say about that. Uh, Rampagers, though, do actually provide a little bit of an issue when it comes to using these boots, just because they're so fast. You know, if anything, a lot of the newer enemies that have been introduced are kind of good counters to the boots, because... You know, stuff like the shield from the the Guardian Knights, and like I said, how the Rampagers move so quickly. Or even like the somewhat unpredictable animation of the rats make them make it so that you can't really breach enemies out of attacks as easily as you could way back in the day. That might be an issue, but I think it's okay. Anyway, uh go take this at least before I get out anywhere else. Who made the emotes we're gonna get? Uh that would be Potato Stew. Uh, dude that wants me to play Rampage Nights a lot, and I'm going to after after Rain World. After Rain World, yeah, that's what we're looking at right now. Oh yes, uh, yeah. I'll, as always, this weapon comes from the Thornies, you know, the uh, the Hedgehog guys that you find uh, pretty commonly in the Ossuary. So if you're looking to get this thing yourself, and like I said, it's a pretty good brutality weapon. If you're looking for just something to to, to buff out the roster. Uh, just head over to the Oshuary with a with a blueprint grenade. It's one of the easier blueprints you can get, thankfully. In the meantime, yeah, let's hit up the sewers. I was just talking about, hey, I wanted to go check out the... Um, I wanted to go check out how well this is going to work against the Conjunctivius, and that might be maybe a little bit overestimating myself, but, well, I'm doing it anyway. And somebody did say that melee actually works really well with this. The whole um, melee attack slowing down enemies means that you can get more hits in on on dudes that are attacking you without uh, needing to worry about dying. <laughs> so I think that, you know, of the, the, the very specific use cases that melee tends to be pretty good, this would definitely be one of them. Just uh, being able to stick the boot to him. Oh yeah, that under 10 restarts this time. Ah, we'll see. We might restart again before the end of this. Maybe I didn't like that intro. 
Maybe I just want to torture my chat, despite the fact that they've been so charitable as recently. Of course, how would that be out of character for me at all? So, anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. It's... Let's uh, let's actually get the episode out here. I'm already doing this a day late and a dollar short, so I shouldn't really be putting this off anymore as it is. It's supposed to be Wednesday and Saturday, not Thursday and Sunday. I just was spending so much time reading up on my Christian doctrine for the uh, for the Blasphemous series that I wasn't able to get to it. But hey, I'm here now. That's the important thing. Chat and intro torture. <laughs> Uh, I'm very persnickety. Ah, ah, yeah, that's what I was talking about, where it's like the speed of those guys. It should not be underestimated. Uh, but yeah, th what was I even saying here? I don't know. I've, I've, en I've entirely forgotten. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing it because of uh, Rampagers literally knocking the sense out of my head. Or non-existent head, as the case may be. Okay. Well, hey, at least um, even not being of the right build type... Uh, as always, Wave of Denial is a great item. I gotta do a proper showcase on this thing. If, wow, okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just pick it up right now. Let's go. I'm ready, baby. <laughs> Look, it's not gonna get any better or worse from this point. So, <laughs> I'm doing it. The speed of those guys. Stepping on the gas. And more poison? I'm going to keep Wave Denial just because it has been serving me pretty well right now, but... We got a weirdly poison-based build from non-poisoning items. From normally non-poisoning items, which is kind of interesting. Uh, someone was asking about Twitch Plays Dead Cells earlier. Uh, I, mean, I It's that and like doing a lot more suggestions and mods that it's like I really should be doing more with. And I think eventually when it comes to... When I start to get to like the end of the whole showcase series, that I'll probably start doing that a lot more. I mean, I just kind of feel like I don't really have enough people uh, watching the whole Twitch side of things to um, to, uh, to 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 really make it good for for like the Twitch integration stuff. Oh, I do not like these guys because, as always, it's like it's just kind of a tiny hitbox for this, and that means that biters are your worst enemy in that case. Especially when I'm taking big, big curse right off the bat here. Okay. All right. Ah, uh, be careful. Okay. That should do it. Well, at least for right now. <laughs> oh yes. Also, spike boots do counter uh, bomb projectiles. A, a, a thing that doesn't come up very often, but you can kick away bombs and um, make it. And, uh, uh, you know, in the same way that you would p be able to parry, parry them. Doesn't work with every projectile, just the bomb-based ones, like the ones that are dropped from the Grenadier, or like the retaliatory bombs from the... Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for it. Uh, or like the retaliatory bombs from the, the Cannibals or uh, Arbiters. But when it does come up, I mean, hey, it's like a... Uh, it, it's sort of like how the... The fans work in in the way that this can also be a parrying item at the same time that it is a yeah damaging item. Okay, one more, one more, baby. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I never like taking the curse gem, but it's like that's a lot of extra money. It's gonna make for a lot of extra uh, upgrades or uh, potion charges at this rate in the future. All right, come on. There we are. Don't want to try to really go for the uh, the hefty damage from the critical on Rampages, like I was saying, but it's like, uh, you're going up against an elite, you're going to have any choice on the matter. But yeah, stuff like that. <laughs> it's it's a situational it's a situational thing, but it is a, a unique ability of the of the boot based weapons, kind of in the same way that all whips go through shields. One of those little quirks that it's like, hey, it could be useful sometimes. Not very often, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, sad to see Doc make an episode. What do you mean? What's, how can he not just make an intro over and over? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense for people that don't watch the streams. Which, by the way, don't watch the streams. I'm just gonna say that right now. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the shield. I even though this is, you know, to be honest, this is something of a defensive item with the whole ability to breach enemies pretty easily with uh with the critical and how that works. It. 
I still feel better having a shield. Uh, you know, even with like the whole kicking away projectiles, even before the fans existed, there were the boots. So that's that's something interesting. But like I said, not quite as comprehensive as uh, the way the fans work these days, or what you can actually get out of a shield. So it is. Uh, it, it's not. It's not the same thing. It's not a replacement. I guess is the best way to put it. Still, there's something to be said about uh, the unique little quirks of Dead Cells and how those kind of uh, mesh together in an interesting way. All right, explain why you delete the Undermine VOD. Uh, did you want to hear me list complain about Persona for three hours? Because <laughs> that's pretty much. Was I at 59 kills? Ah, I knew I knew that I was very close there, but I was just like, ah, I'm, I, I was still like at least 10 enemies away, and I'm not. I wasn't gonna put myself at any more, uh, any more risk going up again, just trying to get the 60 kills. But if I was that close, yes, yes, yes you were, yes you were, okay, well, <laughs> whoops my bad, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, well, it would have been easy enough to get that, but, yeah. Doc, we came here for the complaining. Why don't you just watch the Persona series? Because I know you're not watching it. I see the numbers that that thing's outputting. All right. I thought you were doing it on purpose. I mean, it, well, I should have. <laughs> I should do that. I should have saved some face and said, "Yes, I, I am." Adrenaline also probably a pretty good um, combination because you know you roll around an enemy attack, you immediately start attacking them, get a lot of extra damage off of that, a lot of extra health. Yeah, I think that'll actually be pretty effective. Ugh. Doc deletes fifty percent of his content because of the amount that features. <laughs> I'm <laughs> talking about Persona, Persona 5 sucks. Well, uh, stream-wise, perhaps. Also the drunk streams. Well, those are a different thing entirely. I am I am actually going to be taking this because curses, as you know, are just horrible in the corrupted prisons. But hey, it also does um open up... Yeah, I think if enemies are frozen when they're attacking, that does mean that I do continue to get criticals on enemies, so that's actually not a bad idea either way, too. Yes, yes, this is the sort of thing that could be a quite good combination. Okay, <laughs> that was maybe a little bit riskier. Ah, that was maybe a little bit riskier than I thought it, that it should be, but I did anyway, <laughs> so. Oh, I wonder how many simps subs Doc has. I can actually tell you right now, I have Wow, I got 59 subscribers? Man, that's way more than I ever expect to have, to be honest. Gotta start doing some, um, like, sub stuff here, or, like, anything. Wow. That's, like, you know, to be honest, that's, like, maybe starting to compete with the amount of money I get on YouTube. But don't tell anybody that. Uh, <laughs> but don't tell John YouTube that. You probably wouldn't like me saying that. Uh, anyway. So close to the 60 sub door. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> yeah, just keep it at 59 forever, just for the, just for the memes. Okay, come on. This was working before. Yeah, at least this is an easy way to take out the, um... This is an easy way to take out the, uh, the, the... Thing. The, the toxic miasma. Because, God, those things are just horrible in here. See the last time that I went into the corrupted prison, after all. Where I just I just rushed through and I was like, well, I hope I don't die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm going to though. Oh no. Here's the thing. Put the put the defenders in the prison depths. Take them out of here. <laughs> and 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 I'll I'll forgive you. Cause it's like let me tell you, this is not the place you want to see those guys. Okay, come on. This is this is so much worse of a location for them to be at as opposed to the prison depths. Okay. Doc to the drunk stream right now. I can't. I've been losing a lot of weight lately, and I don't really want to upset my gallbladder anymore. Yep. The boring answer. The boring old man answer. <laughs> Go for 420 subs? I mean. Yes. I will. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to do that. But get right on. Doc's elderly. 
No, I just got a bad gallbladder. Also, I am elderly. <laughs> but, you know, don't tell anybody that. Yeah. Okay, come on. Once I get the... Once I get especially... Melee is actually, like, coming in a lot of... Uh, coming in handy a lot right now, by the way. I'm getting a surprising amount of slowdown on these enemies, which is super helpful. But, uh... Ooh. Still gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, I got that, uh... I, I got that... What's this now? Ooh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Have a little bit of a repeat. I mean, it's... Uh, classically, uh, ice shards have been... Okay. Not gonna need to worry too much about that guy. Classically, ice shards have been brutality scaling, so why not? <laughs> this is what I say. They turned out way better than I thought they were going to be last time. Now, that was largely because, you know, crow's wings are a very good item, and they synergize very well with that, but still... I ain't gonna be complaining. Nor am I gonna pass up that offer. All right, map both to X. Oh yeah, people were telling me about that last time, where it's like, yeah, the thing, the the thing you gotta do is you gotta have ice shards in the first slot to get that to work. I like I said, I wasn't going to do that anyway, but yeah, that's if you're wondering, that's actually how you're supposed to do it, and it's not working. Oh, eh, well, okay, kind of. It doesn't work on, like, the second two hits of the combo, but I guess it's mostly functional. I still would rather just have the uh, the ability to switch back and forth between the range stuff, but, you know, what am I going to say? Clearly, this is a pretty effective build, nonetheless. Spike boots do not dual bind. Well, at least they don't dual bind in... Uh, it's kind of weird. It seems like it's inconsistent, at least in the way that it's working right now. I don't know. Well, either way, uh, let's go, um, anybody got any opinions? Ancient Sewers versus the, the Ramparts. I'd kind of like to go Ramparts to get the, I'd like to go Ramparts to get the, um, the, what, what, what am I thinking about? Potion Charge? But, yeah, Ramparts, Ramparts, Ramparts. All right, we'll go Ramparts. It's also been a while since I've done that, so why not? Uh, can you tell us in detail the uh, behavior of your gallbladder? Okay, so, I mean, basically, my gallbladder is mostly okay. I don't have, like, really bad gallstones or anything like that, but it does on... Uh, after losing a lot of weight, uh, drinking heavily, whatever you want to say, I, I do get some um, referred pain in my upper right shoulder, and then occasionally, like, where the gallbladder actually is, which is under the right side of your rib cage. So I do, it's it's not like terrible or anything, but I do want to avoid getting like really bad, um, you know, like actual really bad gallbladders or like really bad gallbladder stones or or uh, issues with, with like blockages or anything like that. Cause that's bad. And you know, as, as you know, like the, the cure for gallstones is to remove your gallbladder, and I would really like to avoid that if possible. But like I said, it's it's mostly pretty inconsequential unless I am going very hard on uh, fatty foods or alcohol or whatever. So, does that answer all of your questions about my gallbladder? <laughs> Refer pain is really scary if you don't know it's a thing. Yeah, it's it's weird how that works. Uh, if you don't know, refer pain is when you is uh, when like a different part, of, you know, you have like some sort of pain in an internal organ, but it manifests itself somewhere else. For example, like a uh, classically, like one of the symptoms of a heart attack is to have your upper the upper right part of your your left arm to hurt. And gallbladder, it's your upper right shoulder. So yeah. Um, <laughs> that's that's like actual Doc Firebird for the episode. Why not? <laughs> uh, Ramparts is maybe my favorite area aesthetically. I don't know. I, I like um really like uh how the oh boy, be careful. I really like how the uh, the sepulcher looks. I think that's maybe my favorite. Of course, like a lot of the new areas tend to be pretty all right. Oh, Firebird MD. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Personally, I like the Oshuary. Yeah, Oshuary, of course, has the big um, piles of burning bodies and everything like that. How many gallbladders do you have? The one. <laughs> like, what are you even talking about? How many more do you need? It's not like a liver. 
Uh, Doc, are you able to eat when your shoulder is in pain? Yeah, of course. I mean, it's it's very minor. I'm telling you right now, it's very minor. But it is a thing that it's like I have um, I have like asked a doctor about before, and it basically it's like as long as you're not in such pain that you're like uh, vomiting or can't function, it's okay. But you know, it's also like I'm not gonna press my luck. Sepulchre is my least favorite area in the game. I think that's probably true for a lot of people. Because the darkness mechanic and everything is pretty... It's not like a liver. No, livers have three lobes. You have, like, several livers in a sense. <laughs> but yeah, kidneys, I suppose, would be the better uh, comparison if you want to be really pedantic like that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hey, thanks, King D DKC. Ah, for the raid. Welcome to Gallbladder Talk with Dr. Inferno Firebird. Emphasis on the doctor. <laughs> still counts as one liver. Ah, whatever. You can have parts of it removed and still live. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this is... This is just borderline nonsensical at this point in time. We are doing like an actual episode on, on you know... Uh, uh, well, I guess... Somewhat doing it on uh, the the ice shards again, but mostly doing it on on <laughs> spike boots, which has still been a pretty good item. Like I said, it's easy to breach enemies, easy to do a lot of damage. It's good. Did not expect to so learn so much about organs. Yeah, well, if people in chat asked me about something, I am legally obligated to answer. <laughs> spike boots are so good. Yeah, they're like. They're one of those items that uh, usually I prefer something that you can make more of a build around. You know, something that has, like, big criticals for, you know, I always call it skill-based. Hitting things at the right time, getting right timing down or positioning. Or just something where it's like, ah, that's not good. Or something where you can go a little bit harder into, like, fire, poison, etc. type of build. Uh, your sadistic daggers and everything like that. But this is still, like, just as a plain... I always say with brutality especially, sometimes you just need an item to do damage. And Spike Boots is something that has such an easy to fulfill critical and everything like that, that it's like, it is unquestionably going to be doing good damage for you. Especially if you can luck into this sort of uh, legendary item here too. <laughs> okay. Doc, tell us your favorite alcohol. I, I usually just prefer something simple and sweet, like a, a uh, let's say amaretto and cream. That's basically what I would have if given the choice. All right, get back in here and, oh no, I don't quite, I, I'm like 300 less. White Claw, you say? I, didn't I ha- no, 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 I swear this was a thing that happened, right? Didn't I, like, actually open up a, and drink a White Claw for the first time on stream? And I don't remember why that was, but I think, like, somebody was- Somebody was ask- Somebody wanted me to do- Did I just want to do that? I don't remember now. <laughs> absinthe? Never had absinthe. I mean, it's just supposed to be a- It's, 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 it's a very- like anise type flavor though so i can probably guess it's nice rare that you get the old um, enemies ew, falling on top of each other treatment but here we are also this is not good well this is again why i, I wanted to go get the why i wanted to go get the uh the piece of watermelon back there anyway all right. Did you just quote that Kingdom Hearts song, Simple and Clean, in the way that you're making me feel tonight? It's hard to let it go. No, that's the only uh, Kingdom Hearts song that, well, that has lyrics that I'm aware of. All right, all right. Let's get out of here then. Because as of right now, it's like 65 is not great, but at least I am... I, I, I do have healing from Frenzy, or not Frenzy, uh, Adrenaline, so hopefully I'll be fine. We'll see. Gives more Blasphemous, it's too good and I'm already addicted. Uh, what I'm doing as of recently is trying to piece out the lore, which I suppose I'll probably be uh, trying to record an episode though after this. Soon after this, if nothing else. But yeah, don't need to heal if you don't get hit, yeah. <laughs> forehead. <laughs> Thank you for actually using the forehead. 
that's an important part of, uh, of, of, of Twitch etiquette that I feel like people have yet to do enough around here. <laughs> uh, well, for the most part, as, as always, I would say that it's just like it, the start, ever since like the update of Plenty, the start, oh, nice. Perfect. Like, could not be any better, by the way. Or just get really lucky on your food intake. How about that? <laughs> but yeah, the start of the game tends to be harder, so hopefully I'll be better when, when you get a little bit farther into this. Oh, Doc and Episode 1 starts too cryptic. I ain't gonna try to m figure it out. Yeah, well, it got me. I mean, I'm too interested in, 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 in the, the Grievous Miracle and what it's doing right now. I don't know if I'm gonna do it well, if I'm gonna actually do justice to whatever the plot is, but... Hey, at least now at this point I know a lot more about, like, perfect and imperfect contrition <laughs> and what that means to, to having your sins justified. Which we'll be talking about a lot in the next episode, I suppose. I, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> when you walk away, you won't hear me say, please, uh, baby, something. But then it just uh, goes right into simple and clean. I don't think indulgences are too much in that game as of just yet, because the way the Grievous Miracle works is that it doesn't really is that it is an, a largely arbitrary, inscrutable way for people to to experience just their sins physically and tangibly, as I said. So I don't really know if there's too much you can say as far as church-sanctioned uh, forgiveness of sins. That's, that's like, you know, the church doesn't really have too much to say as to what exactly the miracle does and doesn't do, if, as far as I can tell. Show me the double shield tech. I've tried. I, you know, I actually tried with um, like full on shielding with the, with a parry shield episode that I don't think I ever actually put up. It was a very brief one. I think I still have that on my computer. I should put, I should throw that up alongside this episode. Just walk into the fight. You know what? I can do that. We did uh, again. We were talking about the weird walking that exists in this game. Oh, I need to upgrade my boots at some point in time, too. I forgot that, yeah, we're still working with a very low-level version of this. Hmm. Do you think by the end of the game you'll possess all the necessary knowledge to start a cult? I don't know. It doesn't seem too difficult to start a cult. Just slow walking. <laughs> Fire walk with bird. Thank you. <laughs> all right. I think that this should actually be, like, especially with this sort of setup. Although I would like to get, you know, um... Yeah. All right, fine then. Although I would like to get something that does, uh... That allows me to get that little bit of extra damage with oil. It's like, this is clearly doing just fine as far as damage goes. Which is a rarity... I, I think it's just melee. You know, melee combined with, uh... With the, the slowness from the ice grenade and the ice shards. This is a weird build. <laughs> I'm gonna say that right now. It is it is working. It is working. Alright. I mean there's a, there was a game that I remember pretty popular a while back, or maybe even right now, uh, called Cultist Simulator. Is that any good? I don't know, I was kind of interested in it because it had a really good uh splash art, but I didn't really know anything about it. Alright. And it just keep on going. Get that good damage. Yep. Yep. And probably want to watch out there, though. Oh, ah, well, so much for the perfect fight, but that's actually okay. I didn't even take malaise there, so it's totally okay. <laughs> Cult Simulator was kind of blah, it's fun, it's more like a card game. Ah, yeah, and you know, I mean, not really the biggest fan of card games. What can I say? I just, I, I don't know what it is about card games. Just don't really, it's, you know. And yes, I did play through uh, East of Eden, but it's just like, I don't know. That was also like more, that, that was way more of an action game. Yeah. <laughs> What about card games on what card games on motorcycles? Well, I love those, of course. <laughs> Good. And frankly, between the the poison and the bleed, that should take them out pretty quick. Fortunately, don't have the other stuff down. 
That slowdown is a lot more comprehensive than I remember it being, to be honest. Okay. Good whiff. That's fine, though. Frankly, I'm getting out of this better than I do with most brutality fights, so I'm happy about that. That's kind of what I was thinking when I uh, decided to go for the conjunctivious fight over anything else. Generally not a great idea, but worked out pretty well in my favor this time. Oh, come on now. And there you are. There you are. Oh, come on. Uh, and of course, it was like literally the last second that decided to prove me wrong here. Shards weren't coming out for there. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird dual bind uh, issue. But I mean, again, since I didn't really show it off in the last episode, I thought, why not? Why not check her out here? It's been a while since dual binding has been much of a thing. Uh, well, I guess I did have that boomerang episode pretty recently, so it's not, um, it's not that, been that long. Oh, well, I gotta get an upgrade for my, for my, uh, boots soon. I mean, it's really hard to say. Alienation acceptance time? No, not yet. Not yet. Don't get me wrong. It's a. It's always a good idea. It's always a good combination. But it's like no, no, no. I, I, I'll, I'll be able to afford another potion charge probably by the end of this area. All right. Let's see what we got. Alienation instead of adrenaline seems like the best choice. I mean, it is, but you know, I just I don't I don't, I don't want to go with the same thing every single time, basically. I want to at least try to branch out a little bit in terms of, uh, in terms of, you know, builds and everything like that. Now, does that always happen? No, of course not. Ah, right into the, right into the thing. Now it's, it's terrible. Well, so much for that potion charge. Oof. He just wants to restart. I do not want to restart. We got, we got a good conjunctivious fight there. I don't want to restart this just yet. You can get the increased speed on crit on shards. Works pretty good with frenzy. Hmm. Yeah, but that's a pretty uncommon uh, affix to get, though, isn't it? Yeah, Swarm's not great. It's not a... It's... They've tried a lot to improve it, and I always want to believe that it's going to be better, but I'm going to be honest, it's still pretty bad. There's little else I can say. Although cannibals here actually should be pretty well countered by the whole boots thing, because they throw it down basically right in, in front of your boot uh, targeting range, so just kick that projectile away. Ah, uh, be a little bit cautious. Easy on the legendary chard? You know, that is a good point. You always do get a special affix on legendary items, and they are lower reroll costs, so that would be something worth looking into. Ah. There's a food shop in here. I'll be fine. Just, you know, had to make sure that I spent all of that cursed... Are you kidding me? All that cursed gem money that I got earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Slow down actually prevent me from taking a lot of damage there. They should just remove the biter cap. Uh, would make it better. I mean, it's... I guess. But I feel like that might be a little bit excessive. <laughs> just a little bit. Here, we're, we're talking about it right now. Let's just dump it. Dump it for this. Gold as well as a cell still exist? I don't think so. I think that's... that's. I, I, th I think that one's just out of the game now. Or at least if... Or at least if it does still exist, it is so rare that I have not seen it since, like, the... The more... Oh, come on! <laughs> now I'm just playing badly. All right, anyway. Ugh, horrible. Oh, yeah, he's throwing. Or maybe I'm setting it up so that it's going to be that much more uh, tense when I get to the final boss fight with no potion charges. <laughs> no. Consider taking Masochist at this point, I probably should. But, uh, yeah. Gold's Ball and Cell is not in the game anymore. Yeah. Oh, how am I talking at the same time I'm playing? Uh, basically, I just, you know, I look at a big swath of chat, try to remember what people said, and then respond to it in kind. I always compare it to, like, queuing up, um, queuing up, like, a set of things that you'll want to do. 
75% damage reduction on um, on uh, projectiles would also be pretty helpful right now, wouldn't it? Anyway. Maybe this would also be the point in time just to go get uh, the, the corrupted healing. Because this is... I feel like I've gotten hit by more... Um, more... Uh, Inquisitors here than I have in a very, very long time. Actually, I think I did have... No, no, no. This is the one with 75% damage reduction. Good. That's exactly what I was talking about, after all. All right, all right. Scroll power. Should be fine. This is going to be a really intense last boss. Or... I will have it so in the bag that you'll be in amazed that I didn't use any potion charges. By the way, nobody, nobody ever actually pointed that out with the, the vampirism run. Where it's just like, you know, I did... I, vampirism might not be great, but I did end that fight with all four potion charges. So I'm going to say that that was a pretty successful run, all things considered. Compared to most other types of uh, uh, runs that I do, especially with something that has that high of a risk reward. It's like you can't expect too much better. Shards are screwing up your timing. Yeah, but I do think it's still giving me a lot of advantages when it comes to uh, making sure that I'm hitting enemies when they're attacking me. So I really can't just get rid of it, I think. I hope. Because I'm not going to be getting rid, rid of it. Can't use a potion charge without potion charges. Yeah? Well, we'll see how that works. More like 25% damage reduction. Yeah. <laughs> Plus for stone still gives you 75k. I think it's it's definitely a lot. It definitely gives you a lot of money. I don't know if it's that much anymore. Also, it's been such a long time since I've seen one of those that it's like it's it's hard to say what like the comparison would be normally. Last few rounds on this channel have been gamer AF. Oh come on now. Don't call me the gamer. I'm not a gamer, not in that way. Not anymore. <laughs> I need that potion charge rather than the... Look, if I if I take a lot of damage again, I'll go for the... Um, yeah. If I take a lot of damage again, I'll go for the, uh, the, the watermelon. But I really do think that it's going to be all about the Benjamins right now. On the platform with the food door? Secret near that chain? I mean, I'll just check it out. Oh, this is actually not where I wanted to go. Ah, oh, yes, the floor is made of floor. Except when it's made of spikes. Don't forget about that. Oh, it's just one of the regular things. Eh. Am I that desperate yet? I don't think so. The charge? The potion charge? The potion charge used for healing? The healing potion charge? The potion charge? Ah, I see you've been watching Persona 5. <laughs> Oh, or maybe you wrote for that game. <laughs> anyway. I always knew he wasn't a gamer. I never was a gamer. I hate video games. You know what the worst thing is? Video games. Oh, I see, do see that, though. Eh, but, you know, also at the same time, it's like, man, I'm going to take a lot of damage doing this, aren't I? <laughs> I think I want the 75% damage reduction, to be honest, just because, you know, you know, <laughs> what can I even say? Rip 60 kills. I did it again, didn't I? Ah, well. <laughs> At least I have 60 kills. It's like, well, should have said that earlier. All right. Watch out. He's going to install an anti-gamer billboard somewhere in the Chicago area. What would that even look like? <laughs> it would be a big picture of Sonic with a, with the you know the classic um, red circle with a line through it, right? And it would be like your chew gamer. You know, Sonic's famous catchphrase. <laughs> Do it? That is way too much money for me. That's too rich for my blood. Put it right above uh I don't know, um, but I'm going to go back and get that potion charge already. I, I, can, I can afford it, right? No, actually, I can't. Close, though. All right. 
what is up with the cult stuff today? <laughs> I feel like, oh man, I don't know if I like this. I think I might actually go for, well, yeah, Sonic says um, true love waits until marriage. But uh, also, oh man, it is really raining outside right now. <laughs> Uh, I, 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 I've entirely lost it because now I'm just getting distracted by everything. <laughs> so anyway, um, Sonic series is a good enough reason to hate gamers. I don't know. They got some good stuff. You know, you Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic Adventure 2, and all the rest. Uh, I'm just going to go up here then. Yeah, Sonic and Mario at the Olympic Games. Oh, yeah, Sonic Mania is actually very good. That, that, that is true. I mean, there, there's more than that, but it's like, I didn't... Even Sonic CD, which I love the soundtrack for that game. Like, the whole past and future mechanic were kind of... I mean, it's... There wasn't too much to it. <laughs> you know... Sonic Heroes, Sonic Heroes, I, I, I would say Sonic Heroes is okay. Like, it's acceptable. Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles. I would count 3 and Knuckles to be one game. I mean, they, they, Sega being the, the bastions of, uh, of corporate greed that they are, just split that up into two games. <laughs> I think Sonic Heroes of the Brother, it was epic. I mean, it's... I, it's, it's, that I wouldn't say that's like a bad game. And I mean, we were talking even last time when I was doing a lot of the, the, uh, undermine about the merits of Shadow the Hedgehog. But even then it's like, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> like it's still a lot of basic button mashing type of stuff. Anyway, am I going to the cavern or the sepulcher? Which one you, which, which one you looking at? Sega, the OG EA, ah, uh, there it's, it's so every game company is like that at some point in time. Sepulcher, Sepulcher, Cavern, Sepulcher, Cavern, Sepulcher. I'm seeing mostly Sepulcher. Sepulcher is the easier curse clear. <laughs> is is true. Sega will milk Sonic. That's Sega milked Sonic to death. It's that was always how Sonic was. Sonic was always like that. Fighting the giant with the boots? Oh, no, no, no. We're not going right to the giant. I mean, thankfully, I can't. But um, we're going to the sepulcher. And that's where I'm getting the curse. Getting rid of the curse. I mean, that's the whole thing. Where it's just like, if you actually look at the, 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 the history of Sonic, it's just like, Sega always milked that franchise to death. Even in the Halcyon days of when it was... Uh, when it was uh, fresh and new, it's like how many how many like Master System games came out? How many like hastily created tie-in games came out? And like I said, you know Sonic Three and Knuckles, of course. It's like man, it's there was there was no time <laughs> that Sonic was not the Billboard mascot of of uh, uh Sega since introduction. Oh, this is not good. Maybe I can freeze. Nope, didn't work. Well, maybe I can cheese it out like this. This always goes well. There we are. That's how you do it, baby. All right. I'm just gonna wait for the <laughs> the saved. I know how to. I know how to do. Okay. Take out you first, of course, because I do not like those corpulent zombies. Those things are are walking death bombs. <laughs> Baby, I love that. I, I don't know why I love saying it like that. It's just there's there's something about that phrasing that is just so. Okay, I see you down here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a little bit of this. Oh, fun! <laughs> I thought I was gonna die there. Okay. Okay. Just very, 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 very careful. Look, this is a super easy way to cheese out enemies that are going to teleport to you. Anyway, <laughs> do the challenge rift curse. No. I'm not just going to do everything because you say to do it. Oh, boy. 
Okay. All right. Whew. Uh, man. All right, anyway. Uh, Doc, what's your favorite movie? I don't know if I can really say a favorite movie. I just... It's a weird thing that it's just... Like, I don't know if I can say something specific, because I don't really watch a whole lot of movies. It's actually been, like, literally over a decade since I've seen a movie in a movie theater, for example. I don't know. That would have been a very TV Taco Bag moment, I know. <laughs> Maybe you watch Donkey Man? I only use it because then... Maybe? I don't, I don't remember where I first heard, baby, but, like, uh, do I have double jump or anything? No. But I've been using it ever since. All right, there we go. You're so old? I know I am. Did you miss the gallbladder talk earlier? Who does that except for olds? <laughs> Donkey? Oh, that's what you meant by Donkey Man. <laughs> I, I didn't. I didn't make a connection at first. Oh, God. Ah, it's very bad. All right, I think I am going to be taking corrupted healing at this right now. Yeah, the olds. That's what uh, people of my age refer to others as. <laughs> it's the secret language of the olds. I should. Probably just use that last potion charge, but not yet. All right. The ancients. Throughout the annals of history, <laughs> we have existed. Hmm. Would we'll kind of overwrite the whole um, going for the the thing. Anything else? I said annals. There's two ends in that. <laughs> if you die, will it be the end of the stream? No, unfortunately, we still got to finish at least the Hand of the King, as uh, tradition dictates. So, we're going to be doing another run if I die here. But, that does mean a lot more stream, I suppose. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> if you end that. Please die, no. No! I would... Again, I'm not just going to do something because you asked for it. <laughs> All right. Besides, the longer that we... Um, besides, the longer that we wait on the end of the episode, the longer that we have to uh, get emotes going on. I'm going to wait for the cooldowns to, to get off of here. <laughs> we can go back to Darkest Dungeon. I mean, there's really not that much of Darkest Dungeon left, even if I didn't want to go back to that. And after the... Uh, the final thing of the, the, the DLC, no. <laughs> I don't want to go back to that. Yeah. Cool. I love it. Okay. It's just... Can I get an upgrade for my boots already? I've kind of, like, been going the entire game without it. Thank you. Much nicer. Now then. Oh, I did forget to... Well, actually, I, I didn't, wouldn't have had money to re-roll the... And it's really raining out there. Uh, I wouldn't have had money to re-roll the, um, the... Hmm. Well, let's see how this goes. And here they come. All right. I only have one more enemy left to kill, so it should be okay. Ugh. You had 2.5k I, I checked you could have rolled. Uh, nah, okay, well, fine. Then I messed it up. There we are. See, and you thought I was gonna- ah, I might die here anyway! <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it's fine. Look, I'm alive. Unfortunately, I don't have any more potion charges left, so that's going to be an issue by itself, but uh, when, when do I ever not live on the edge? Never. Never is when I don't live on the edge. Yeah. There we go. And yeah, I already did the, the challenge drift and everything. See, and you thought I might mess that up. 
Well, no, I'm pretty sure I did mess that up. It's just thank thank you, um, last hit. Uh, d d safety save. That's not the word. <laughs> last hit instant death prevention. Ah, get out of here, you. And... Yeah, there we go. Okay, Tainted Flask coming up. I mean, I don't really have too much choice now, do I? <laughs> it's been a lot of bad play. But at the same time, I am alive, so... What are you going to say about that? Kill yourself with the elevator when you get rid of the curse? I mean, if I die, I will get rid of the curse. It's true. But, like, you know... That's... That's stupid. <laughs> like, what are you even saying? <laughs> You give the viewers a badge. Okay, come on. Enough with the... the. Um, why am I blanking on what that song is? And you're just calling me old. <laughs> is it just called Shot the Door? I don't know. I'm alive. Okay. <laughs> uh, if you die, you won't have gallbladder issues. They're not that big of issues. You give the game a bad name, and I'll give the game whatever name I want. All right. Well, there's the 25% damage reduction if I want to just go for that now. You go to one... Yeah, if you uh, take more than 25... If you have more than 25% of your HP remaining and you would die in a single hit, you instead go down to one HP and do like a little bit of an AoE um, uh, knockback which kind of has like a very brief stun on enemies. It's very good for high cell difficulty where that comes up an awful lot. Seems like adrenaline isn't, isn't used very much here. Yeah, it's kind of been falling behind and I, since it's been changed up, I guess. I miss the old version. Doc, I'm 24, you're at least a decade older. Who's old now? You don't know my age. <laughs> I could be two decades older than that. Anyway. Let's talk more about my medical maladies. <laughs> okay, that's good at least. That's not as good. However, I will be able to survive here. All right. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Dang. Well, at least I'm back up to the health I was at before. I guess. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. Boy, this has just been a lot of bad play today. Don't take this as a very good representation of the spike boots, I suppose, because it's just been bad. Why didn't you kick it? Well, I, what do you mean? I, I, I'm kicking it. I'm kicking it old school. All right. All right. And... Yeah, we got to wait until I regenerate my um, body and become the, the 17th doctor. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll have this worked out in the next generation. So not have happened if you purchased the Prima Strategy Guide for Dead Cells? Yeah, of course. I mean, what, what was I even thinking? <laughs> not purchasing that. Anyway. I mean, I guess I don't really need to be making Doctor Who references. I could just say that it's like the name is, you know, Phoenix, <laughs> isn't it? Are you going into the castle? What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you want to see, chat? Tell me, tell me right now. Castle, suffering, castle, castle, castle death, pain. <laughs> Distillery is probably death. It probably is. But, you know. All right. Well, I'm going to keep melee. That's still been pretty good. Uh, I'm going to get Soldier's Resistance and Tainted Flask. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tainted Flask. Sometimes you feel you've got to fill up your flask. All right, come on. Big hits. Big boy, big hits. 
Oh. That's big boy bad hits. All right. Want to see a cooking stream? Well, that would require me to actually show you what I look like, which I refuse to do. There we are. Ah. Uh, GoPro? I, no, I'm not going to try to even, like, especially streaming myself. You don't know if that's going to turn out to be a bad um, thing. It might be a bad thing. <laughs> no, I might screw up something, you know, see what I look like. Just show hands? Nah, I don't want to show my hands. More elites in the high peak castle for your flask. It's true. It's true. It's unfortunately true. <laughs> well, let's do it. Let's do it, I suppose. Are there any new runes? Uh, no, I don't think we've had any new runes since the Explorer's Rune, which has been quite a few updates at this point. Do a Swedish chef, like, be a puppet? <laughs> I suppose that would be something. <sighs> well, there. Y'all happy now? All right. I assume you are. Now, where are all the enemies? <laughs> okay, there's one. Hi, it's me. Oh, tape a knife to a remote controlled drone. Is this cooking or am I trying to kill somebody? <laughs> you know how to make Pop Tarts. I mean, well, which way are you talking about? I don't think I've ever done the microwave way that they uh, sometimes suggest on the wrapper that I don't really know who exactly does that, but it's there. Okay. 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 <sighs> I do so hate the castle. Singing stream win? I mean, just go back to the uh, point where I sang um, Wonderwall and put that on a repeat. Easy. Hey, there's a tonic up there. Do I want to go take I don't I want to go take tonic. I think I want to go take tonic. Uh, let's wait until I'm not cursed, though. <laughs> Uh, what to generate uh, microwaves Pop-Tarts? I don't know, but they give you just directions for that. Like, what sort of degenerate puts pop, uh, not Pop-Tarts, um, uh, Hot Pockets in the, in the, the stove. But they give you directions. Yeah. Knock, knock, it's Knuckles. <laughs> okay. All right, and there's that at least. All right, all right. Doc uh, F. Murray Abraham Castle, Castle starring Nathan Fillion, and Castle as in castling and chess. I guess I'm gonna marry castling as in castling and chess just because it's like that's a great move, but one that's rarely ever used, and I think is mostly outlawed for most stuff. Uh, Castle starring Nathan Fillion, of course we're gonna go with the F part. Because I do love Nathan Fillion. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to kill the castle in Dead Cells. I mean, I think we all saw that coming, though. Okay, there. That's nice, at least. I don't think anybody would have hesitated on that. Knuckle boots. <laughs> Give him the old knuckle boot. It's my speciality in, in, in baseball. Okay. That'll help. This is the worst Knuckles fan game I've ever seen. I've seen some pretty busted Knuckles fan games, so I don't know, man. And also Knuckles official games, so I don't know, man. All right, now we got four elite enemies, four elite enemies. Tougher than leather, you can call me Knuckles. I'm like Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my Knuckles. I'm hard as nails, it ain't hard to tell. I'll break them down whether they're solid or frail. 
I'm like something. My independence is my first breath. Last test. I what? what how, born on an island in the heavens. Okay, okay. I'm getting distracted here. And yeah, you do get a lot of a. Uh, you shouldn't forget that you do get a lot of elites just for doing like this, right? All right. Um, uh, if you remove the shell of a frozen hot pocket, you'll get an energy bar of frozen cheese and meat and whatever freeze put inside. It could be like Alfredo sauce. It could be like spinach. You don't know. He doesn't flex his knuckles. Yeah, you're probably right on that one. But uh, what can I say? There's a. There's a through line in that song that I want to believe. <laughs> okay, well, nothing too much here, but hey, at least it's extra money. You need that meowney. And more stats, I suppose. That's that's a good thing too, but it's also like, eh, uh, eh, uh, <laughs> no. I don't know if that's really what I need at this point. What I need is health. And not ah, temporary health. Ah, permanent health. The good health. How do you physically flex your knuckles? I don't know by cracking them. <laughs> Whatever, man. Have you seen the mod of Knuckles and Knuckles with Knuckles? That, knuckles and Knuckles is a mode in Sonic Mania. You can just play as Knuckles and Knuckles. Yeah. All right, well, that was quite the journey, and unfortunately not nearly as powerful as I was when I was last in the castle, but hey, at the same time, it's like all I need, I have way more potion charges, which is always a big plus when it comes to dead cells. <sighs> That's what happens with the castle. This is why I don't really like going into the castle all that much. It's just way, way too difficult most of the time. But I mean, again, that was largely due to having a very a rough and tumble first half of the run anyway, so can I- oh come on now, can that really hit me through that? I feel like that was a little bit cheap. Now, yeah, let's get back to this here. Uh, sorry, but YouTube doesn't get to see the chat. They're not gonna be able to respond to what you just- to all of the- the, the, the things that happened in the previous run, and I'm going to delete the VOD for this, so they extra won't be able to. <laughs> ah, I'm gonna have to use a potion charge at this rate. Unfortunate, because, I mean, I did take Tainted Flask for this explicit purpose, but, you know. I didn't really want it to have to come to this. Good. Well, I'll be able to get another potion charge in the next area, too. So it's not going to be extremely terrible, but it is going to be what I'd like to call mostly terrible. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. You know, that's the thing with Dead Cells, uh, especially when you're doing streaming. You're a little bit more distracted than usual, and sometimes what might be a real grab bag of a run just turns bad because of that. Right? POV, you can't read chat. Yeah, but it's not POV, because you're not going to be able to read chat. <laughs> you're going to have to get me to read your comments if you want them to be heard by the people at home, by the, by the good, good folks at home. <laughs> I was hoping to get a 2-4 there in, uh, in the parry, but no such luck. Although, I think I'm just going to leave. Yeah. Let's play this one safe and um, not die, <laughs> I guess, is, is, is how I'm going to say this right now. 26. Not as good as I'd like to have for the Hand of the King. I mean, I was having like 31s in my stats last time. Uh, it is a really, really big gulf in, in terms of quality between the two runs. So, yeah. Loses monetization. Why would I? The part, the, the all the part of the, the VOD that you just saw is not going to be included in the final one. And the VOD will be yeeted into the void. Yeah, it's a family-friendly Christian channel. <laughs> Haven't you seen the past few series that I've done? Now then. You did you get a lot of free hits in on the Hand of the King, especially at the very start here, so this should not be too bad at all. 
Yeah, like, look at that go. Well, okay. <laughs> I feel like maybe I shouldn't have gotten hit there, but what am I going to say about it? <laughs> so much for me being very confident in my abilities right now. Hmm. Maybe I should actually go for the potion charge just because it's like, hey, I'm going to be fighting elites here and everything. Get the big, yeah, let's get the big uh, damage increase. Okay. All right. And there, there, and there. Woof, that was a little bit close. Oh, yeah, I suppose I could try to go for the, the kicks on the bombs. That is true, but I feel like that's kind of a bad idea right now. Not advisable. It does work with this weapon, though. As I said, that is kind of... It's a weird gimmick, but there are points in time where you can uh, get it to work for you. There, there, good. You too. Mm, well, maybe not there, though, unfortunately. What about this, though? I'll get two more potion charges before the end of this, though, thankfully, so I'll be just fine. Okay, and... You have to go invincible right as I was about to do, like, big cooldown attacks. That's frustrating. Yeah, such low stats right at the end here, which is making such a huge difference in terms of my damage output right now. Hand of the King should be down, really. Okay, okay. Good. Thank you, generous Perry. <laughs> and that should do it. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was like 31 in the last run, and that would have been that would have been such a quicker, simpler fight too. And of course, it's like I still have the same amount of potion charges, so there's that. <laughs> uh, but hey, you know. Sometimes you get the bull, sometimes you get the horn. That's just how it goes. Loses the hand of the king and loses the gamer license. Well, I'm, loses the gamer license. I did not die there. There was no chance that I was going to die there. It just wasn't the best. If that hand was this slow, the spoiler boss is going to be even slower. Yeah, that's true, unfortunately. But I mean... interesting generation once again but I mean at the same time it's like what am I gonna do about it you uh you play with the cards you dealt well at least this is a very easy start <laughs> give it that also more elites for fodder to get back my potion charges which I would like to see right now cuz um yeah I should be able to afford not only a potion charge but also a uh, a piece of watermelon, so I'll be able to have two potion charges by the end. At least that's the hope. And be mostly full health. Maybe not entirely full health, but mostly. Yeesh. Of course, again, as I always say, Wonky Generation and uh, the Astrolab are two sides of the same coin. Alright. That should actually be a good usage of the bomb there. Yeah, no, this isn't going too bad at all. Okay. There. Yeah, I mean, that's, maybe I can get like a good necklace in the next area here that can give me like a good, like maybe at least one extra. Oh boy, here it comes. It'll give me at least like one extra point of uh, brutality, but I'm not really going to be relying on that. 
Never really a good thing to attempt to rely on, after all. <laughs> that's a fun throwing knife. But I don't. I also think that's probably a bad idea, given the circumstances right now. Oh, come on, now. Remember to buy the potion charge after getting the last free one, though. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, I think that's going to happen anyway. <laughs> so... I don't think it's going to be a, uh, a problem. Like, I don't even know where the food shop is right now. But it's like I have like 30... Like 30,000 gold here. Unfortunately, it looks... It's... Ah, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a potion charge and hope that I get another four elites to fight. Oh, here we go. This will help out with the, uh, with the money, at least. Rip fun item. Rip deadly item. Come on, that wasn't that fun. <laughs> Unless you have a very skewed definition of fun that involves me dying. And if you do, why? Why would you do that to me? Why do, why do you hope to see my demise? Won't you want to see me succeed? Me, your best friend, the Mr. Inferno Fire Guy? What do you got? Ah, uh, well, yeah, again, I'm not using it, though. See, it is an extra stat, but I'm not going to go in there with 17% health. We'll, we, th that, that rift will remain there for some time. You're not my son, Doc. No, you're my son, Panseek. I didn't want to tell you because I thought you would freak out, but this seems like the most opportune time to let you know. I'm pretty sure it says Panseek. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, this might be a librarian fun time. And it's a librarian fun time. Okay. Good. Good and good. At least that bleed propagation does do pretty nice when it comes to clearing out other enemies. It's just not as powerful as I'd like it to be because of the stats. All oh, those dang old stats. POV Doc mispronounces your name. Yeah, whatever, Lana Lee Crocker. <laughs> okay, and. Oh, well, I do need money. You never pronounce it right, Dad. Yeah, well, maybe I shouldn't have given you a name that was so hard to pronounce. But that was what your mother wanted. I'm also your mother, by the way. It was a time travel accident that went horribly wrong. Or some might say horribly right. Uh, hmm. Yeah, okay. He does actually jump over gaps. I didn't know. But hey, that, again, more stats. Starting to uh, come up. Working. Right. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, look, here's the thing. We already talked about the bigger version of myself, so I, there's clearly established precedence here. Okay. Okay, and okay. The extremely rare golem in the boss fight. Yeah, that's, that's actually, like, likely to happen at this point in time, isn't it? Which is not my favorite type of circumstance to find myself in. Okay. Okay. Yeah, just right into the... Right into the electricity. Can't say it's an ineffective way to take out enemies, but not really my preferred way either. <laughs> Doc, you two won't know what you're saying about the slightly bigger you. Ah, I mean, you know. I should have been here for the stream. <laughs> By the way, where do I stream? You'll never know. <laughs> I won't tell you. There's one flask charge. Now, here's the thing. I'm mm. Chat, I want to ask you about this one. Uh should I use the the flask charge right now with the hope that there's going to be at least four more elites or should I 
Should I just stick with what I got? No, no, wait. Save it, wait. Okay, well, we'll wait then. And then I'll go buy this then. All right. Let's go. I mean, the thing is, it's pretty likely that I'll run into two more elites, but if I don't, then I'm down a potion charge, and I'm only up 40% health. Oh, and also, hey, here's a piece of food anyway. So yeah, I'd say that was actually probably the right decision. Good. How'd that not hit that guy? All right. No, oh, do the rift. Yeah, yeah I guess I got to go do the rift, don't I? All right. Well, I th there'll be a, a teleporter down here somewhere. Give it yeesh. It's pretty rough. Two bird. Yeah, there are two bird elites, and there's probably another two elites that I'm going to find going up the wizard tower in the first place. But it's like, yeah. It's not guaranteed that I'm going to find two more. Probably won't be two in the tower. I don't know. I think there's a pretty... I think most of the time... Mm, nice. I think most of the time I see the... Uh, I'll see at least two more elites in the tower. Or maybe just exploring around everywhere else. Hey, wait a second. Don't I already... Uh, no, I got both keys. No, never mind. I was wondering. It's like, wait a second. Don't I have the alien key remaining? And it's like, no. No, I got that already. It's fine. Okay, finally 30 stats. I'm surprised I was able to make it. We were looking pretty low there for a long time. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this should actually be a perfect rift. Good. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's get out of here and see if I can't. <laughs> well, now that I got enough stats. Yeah, I got lucky with a pendant. It is, it is true. I mean, that was kind of what I was hoping to see, though, with uh, getting a pendant that happened to give me... Well, here, why am I even worrying? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to take care of themselves. Oh, come on. Right into the, the defender there. A lucky break for that failed experiment, but not enough. But it wasn't enough. All right. And keep on rolling here. There. Okay, okay. Yeah, melee is actually doing surprisingly well with this weapon, I feel like. I'm actually noticing when it's activating and everything, which is not something that I usually see when I try to take that mutation. So it's a, it was a good choice overall. Usually I don't even think about it. Uh, that's like not even on my mind to be taking that. Okay. Good roll and good stab with the knives. Well, there's one elite. I told you it was likely to happen. Just one of the invisible ones, not even a big deal. Don't need anything more with that, but... <laughs> oh, come on, just clipped my foot there. I feel like that was a little bit unfair in terms of damage taken. Oh boy. Also a little bit unfair in terms of damage taken. No lucky with adding the cherry. Yeah, it is pretty nice. Oh, there's a second one. I told you there was gonna be four, right? There's always four and there's always at least four with the with the two you find up top. I said foot? What does that mean? <laughs> what is... Wh what? <laughs> People are freaking out about that for some reason. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> he did it, boys. It really he. <laughs> the guy who threw the bomb into the electrical wire. All right. Now everybody's just spamming foot. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, we're going to go with classic uh, cheese strategy here, I think. 
And then, there we go. All right. Gonna play Darkest Dungeon after? Oh man, Darkest. I was actually very close to the end of the game, but I think Darkest Dungeon, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call that one. That is, it's too much. It was too much going through that last uh, DLC map. What is the actual time on the run? I, I don't know. I mean, actual time of recording is two and a half hours. So we've been here for a grip, but it's like, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be <laughs> cut down a lot. No dead inside. Uh, I wanted to keep melee and I want to have tainted flask mostly for the big damage increase more than anything else. Cause I should be able to, I mean, even though the stats are good now, it's like I want to kind of make sure that this fight is not going to be too long. Hey, I got the kick there. Right? Don't get the criticals as much on this guy, though. Mm-hmm. 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 There we go. Oh, man. Well, I said I wanted to get the big damage increase, so let's just go with it right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How long does it last? 12 seconds? Ah, it's not as much as I was hoping. Come on, just keep keep mashing. Okay. <laughs> Slowly, but surely. Well, this is going to be a little bit long in terms of a fight, but I think it's it's not going to be... I, I feel like I'm probably going to survive. It could easily go south very quickly, though, as it always does with dead cells, so... Look forward to that. Okay... Keep on going. Nice thorny, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's that. Come on, I'm, that's second potion charge. Need one more and then, yeah. Waiting for Golem Pog. I don't think we're gonna reach Golem this time, but, hmm. But it's a possibility. Oh man, that damage. <laughs> mm hmm. Come on. Okay, there's third. The Terraria Golem? No, that's much easier to fight. Ha <laughs> ha! Zing! Got him. Take that, Golem. You're not a very good boss <laughs> in Terraria. Too easy. Easy money. And one more. Two, three. Oh, only going to three. Come on. I'm doing so much here. <laughs> Good. Fortunately, not enough. Yeah, there's way too much, um, good. There's way too much, like, uh, lag time in between the, uh, the attacks for the... Mm -hmm. I died there. <laughs> That's just downright embarrassing. <laughs>